do a little bit of a different video. I have done a little series of posts on my blog about how to eat less and I wanted to quickly um, do a video about that as well so all my not German viewers have um, yeah, the tips as well, I don't know. Let me just get into it. So I have seven little tips for you, tips and tricks, how you maybe can eat a little bit less. They're just like little psychological things, though I have just experienced them myself and I have tried them out and they worked for me. I can't tell you whether they will work for you. You just have to see and try and they're not in any way scientific or anything like that because I absolutely don't know anything about it. I am not interested in special diets or anything like that. I just have experienced a few things myself. So basically what I do is I take a bath every week and sometimes I'm eating in the bathtub and then I just realized that I sometimes eat less just because of that surrounding and I thought about reasons why that might be the case. So let me start with the first one which is hot surroundings. So I think probably every one of you has experienced the fact that you eat less in summertime. So maybe it will help if you try to eat in a well heated room in the winter time. I don't really know whether this is any practical but I experienced that when I was in my bathroom in the hot water I definitely had a lower appetite and I didn't eat as much as I would have eaten when I was sitting in my living room which is heated but not too much because that is expensive. So the second thing is pretty much I don't know, something that nobody does in this world. But I remember that when we were kids, they told us to chew every bite for 32 times. So one time for each tooth. Yeah, that's what they say. So probably no one does that in the world. But I want to challenge you to sit down and count how often you actually chew before you swallow. It will probably be around 5 times and definitely not 32, but maybe you can start increasing that and you will see that this really helps to make you feel more full um, with eating less, if that makes any sense. So you will just feel full earlier. <laughs> That, that was a tongue twister and um, so maybe you can try to chew just a little bit more often and really experience the food through that and not just you know shovel it all in your mouth yeah I just felt that this really helped with me and also what it does you will see that certain fast food tastes really really awkward after chewing a few times so that will definitely definitely heal you from eating all fast food because you will see that healthier food doesn't change its, its taste as much because it is made for you know chewing a little bit longer on it and just experiencing the food a little bit more. So the next tip is to cook yourself. I know it's not very practical and probably no one in the world has the time to cook food. But one, it really is an enjoyable thing to really cook something from scratch and two, it will help you to reduce your appetite. So I had a conversation with my stepdad through Christmas and he was like, oh, you know, I don't want to cook myself because when I sit down to eat then, I'm not even hungry anymore. And that is what I have experienced a lot of times because when you put a lot of effort into cooking, you're not willing to just swallow it and be done. So you take your time with it and you definitely eat less. And I don't know, maybe it has something to do with all the work and, you know, standing on the hot oven or something like that. But it definitely helps to reduce the amount that you eat and obviously you can see what actually goes into your food and you can decide whether you want to be more healthy or not, which you cannot do if you just go to restaurants or eat fast food the whole time. 
the next tip is something that I heard so 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 many times um, through the last few years. I thought that anybody was talking about that and it is just use smaller plates. If you use like huge plates and you just put a t little tiny amount of food onto it, you will be like, oh no, I, I will not be full after eating that. But if you use smaller plates, you definitely feel fuller, easier. And the same thing with like pans and stuff like that. Try to use a pan that is actually made for the amount of food you want to cook. That is not only good for the energy you use to cook, but it's also good because you don't cook too much. Because that can also lead to, you know, the will to eat it all up. And maybe you will just eat more than you would really need. So try to use smaller pans or smaller plates so you only get or you only make what you need. And then the other thing is if you're using smaller plates, even though you made a little bit more food, maybe you're just too lazy to stand up and get another um, meal out of that. You know, when you're sitting on the table or maybe in front of the TV or something like that. You're just too lazy to go and get some more. I promise you, I am like that. Speaking of TV, I would suggest if you're eating just don't watch TV or something like that. Don't watch any YouTube videos. Just eat. Try to just eat and experience the food that you're eating. And this for me is a very important tip because I usually eat alone because I live alone. And um, often my boyfriend eats at home before he comes to visit me, so I usually eat alone. And eating alone when there's no TV on and nothing is kind of boring and you actually eat less just because you're like, I want to do something exciting again, not just, you know, eating that crap. So also another thing that goes into that is um, Try to be aware of what you eat during watching TV. So if you're snacking through, you know, watching TV, you often don't realize how much you eat and then maybe you have a bar of chocolate or something like that and then you suddenly realize that it's finished and you don't even really remember that you ate it. That's something that shouldn't happen to you and just try to be more aware of stuff like that and you will actually eat less if you kind of forbid yourself to eat in front of TV or something like that. And then I have something that I call closing time. So I had this for a while and it really helped reducing the amount of sweets that I ate. I had a closing time at 9 p.m. in the evening and I told myself that I was not allowed to eat any sweets, drink any soft drinks, which I don't do anyways, but just, you know, the only thing I was allowed to do was drink tea and water and eat vegetables. That was the only thing after 9 p.m. So you can eat whatever you want the whole day, th whole day through, but there is a time set when you stop eating all that crap. And I think that really, really helps because after 9 o'clock was the time when I ate the most sweets because that is when I'm at home and I start relaxing, I don't have any more uni to do and maybe I watch some film or something like that. That is usually when you start eating just out of boredom. So maybe setting a time like that and really sticking to it can help you as well to eat less. Now the last tip I have is to make sure that you experience every little bit that you eat. So do not eat in front of the TV, as I said, when you just don't realize that you're eating at all. And also do remember how much sugar and stuff is in your drinks because I realized that when I stopped drinking any kind of soft drink and anything, any juice, I'm just drinking water and tea regularly now and also I try to be or stay away from too much alcohol. Obviously I do drink on parties every now and again but I try not to overdo it too much like more than once a week or something and usually I don't have any soft drinks at home. My boyfriend is very strict with that as well. So this will really, really help because you can't imagine how much weight I lost. I lost about, I don't know, it was probably about 7% 
of what I was weighing, which were maybe three or four kilogram. It was quite a lot for how thin I am, you know, just by skipping or yeah, skipping all the soft drinks and sugary stuff that you can drink. So really be aware of what you take into your body. I don't say, you know, that you have to stay away from anything, but just be aware of it. And I think that really helps. So the main two things I would suggest you do if you want to eat less is experience it, like really eat and be aware of what you eat and eat with consciousness. I don't know, but just, you know, oh, I don't know, you, you get what I'm saying. And the second thing is take your time with it. That is the chewing thing, you know. Don't be in a rush. Eat when you have time to actually experience it and to see what you're actually eating. So these are the main two points that you should try to do that have really really helped me so i just wanted to give you seven more specific tips on what you could do um, to keep those two things um yeah i really hope this helps you and this was interesting for you and maybe if you want to see more i don't know if there will be more that comes to my mind but maybe I can't think of more, I don't know. Just let me know what you thought about the video and everything and if you liked it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye!